Good morning, fish heads. It is, it's a Saturday morning. Um, gonna go through some product here real quick. Show you what's been going on in the shop. It is your Saturday workshop update. Before we get started, uh, I really want to express thoughts and prayers to everybody that's being affected by Hurricane Florence on the East Coast and the Carolinas. Um, Heather, John, I know your families are out there. So um, if, you, uh, if you happen to swing by, grab Life by the Fish on YouTube or you're on Facebook or, uh, or Instagram and you see John Kelly at Kirby Creek Customs, give him some support and give Heather some support. So I know that they're in the middle of a pretty awful situation out in the, uh, the Carolinas with this hurricane. So just um, thoughts and prayers to y'all out there and let's get started with this uh, workshop update. We are in the fall swing. The thermocline is starting to change over in a lot of the lakes. And something that's a good shallow search hunt type deal uh, is going to be this little guy right here. Now this is on a bomber. Um, I know a lot of you guys uh, think that a lot of custom bait makers, all they're doing is uh, cheap knockoff blanks. And that's not the case at all. There's a lot of us out there, including myself, that would prefer, nine times out of ten, to paint on brand name customs and just give customers the patterns that they really, really want and some stuff that the fish hasn't, haven't seen before. So this is one of those deals. This is a very well deep veined red and olive drab crawl. It's all hand painted. Yep, that's Major League Fishing in the background. So it's good background noise for a weekend. I like to be out here in the shop and kind of, if I can look at fishing while I'm working on fishing, you guys obviously understand how bad I'm ate up with the whole fishing deal. This is something that I just goofed around with yesterday. Um, this is a June bug pattern and it's a translucent, transparent. So basically all I did was um, put this on top of a square bill blank 1.5 and uh, did not do the traditional primers or anything like that but I really like the way this came out very cool I think this is going to be a, a key bait small it's uh, it's really good multi presentation for multi species I like downsizing on crankbaits, especially if you have a tough bite day. This is from Dinger. Brian over at Dinger puts out some really good blanks, and this is one of them. This is one of my favorites, and it's also a favorite of a lot of the anglers here in the Ozarks. Now, he's gotten a hold and uh, has, has pretty much gotten a pre rapala mold and these baits are all pressed from pre rapala wiggle warts in that mold and this has been chromed you can see that chrome underneath this is a pumpkin seed pattern very similar to how we did the june bug pattern but uh we added a little stripe of orange on the top of this bait. Obviously on wiggle warts, you don't put the 3D eyes on, you have to paint those on. And then these baits are coming pre-chromed from Brian over at Dinger. Um, just a superior bait and a very good replica of the original pre-wrap wiggle warts. They, they run true, they swim well, the wide erratic wobble that uh, Rapala and Storm are known for in their wiggle warts. Runs in this bait. Real happy with how this color turned out. This is the Lake Charles Shad. Named after Lake Charles right here in Arkansas. It's actually not that far from me and it is not a Gen Clear Lake you would think of like Bull Shoals or North Fork. Um, some of the pockets of Wachita. Not Wichita, it's Wachita. Just so y'all know. This 
So Lake Charles is a very timber-oriented lake, and um, these darker profile baits do very well, and red specifically um, in the fall and pre-spawn in the spring really seems to be a key bait for over there. Got the veining in it. It's on that Dinger S. Good pattern. We also have a copper crawl. This has got a lot of orange in it, a little bit of sepia, and then a very deep, deep brown. We didn't use black. I didn't use black, um, particularly on the detail for the crawl segments. This is a very deep, dark brown with a little bit of black magenta wicked for the detailing. And I really like the way that fades back. And then we've got these black chrome. I think these eyes would be really, really good for mice and rats as well. So you're probably going to see a spray session come out here in the next couple of days, weeks where we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a mouse gotten some requests for it so I try and pay attention to all the requests that I get and uh, where I can do it for you guys I certainly do but top of crawl the blueback herring very similar to a thread fin however these guys are prevalent this time of year. A lot of the southern lakes where the, the shad are starting to die off, the herring are starting to die off. Um, if you look at some of the actual photographs of these, uh, these bait fish, you're going to see something that looks very similar to this. So I like to try and keep it as simple as possible on request for match the hatch. This is on that 120. That, uh, this one's out of Schultz. This is not the Dinger version. You can certainly tell that it's not the Duo because of the eyes. But uh, I know a lot of people have had problems trying to get these to suspend. There's a couple ways you can do that. You can do a little bit heavier hooks. Um, instead of the thin wire or thin gauge hooks, you can do the harder split rings and heavier split rings. Um, like these black ones over here are a little bit heavier. You can also use suspend dots. If you guys are familiar with fishing those, um, they work very well on this. If not, this bait will slow rise up to the top, which is not a bad deal either. So that's not necessarily a bad thing when you're looking at uh, this time of year because you kind of want to mimic that wounded bait fish floating up to the top of the water. Just a couple more to get through here. We have this uh, black racer shad. It's been foiled got the, uh, the chrome eyes on it, a lot of fluorescent on the bottom, good rattle, fun pattern, also works in when you have shed and thread fin and uh, gizzards and if that's the type of lake you're fishing, it's a pattern not to be overlooked and last but certainly not least, we have the gray ghost. One of my fave patterns, pretty much any time of year, really gets their attention. Good reaction strikes off of this bait. We've had a lot of luck testing it, and just a fun all-around awesome pattern to throw and to, and to paint. I have a lot of fun painting these as well. So that's pretty much it from Jekyll Bates on a Saturday morning. Again, thoughts and prayers and well wishes to everybody that's out in Carolina affected by Hurricane Florence. Please be safe. Please listen to your first responders and your government, um, your local municipalities. And uh, if you have to shelter in place, then please do so. And if you have to get out of there, then please get out of there. So hopefully you guys have a great weekend. Oh, shoot. One more. Real quick. This is the chart topper in that gill flow through technology. Just forgot about that. Bring that into some more natural light. And there you go. That's it from Jekyll Bates. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Happy casting. 
see on the water. Come, we'll never know You stand off in the back